We are first squadron and our pass flight school. A Transport Canada listed our pass ground and flight school. Check out our drone services and courses at warapilot.ca. Flight Operations Prohibitions Prohibition – Operation of moving vehicles, vessels and manned aircraft. 901.37 No pilot shall operate a remotely piloted aircraft while operating a moving vehicle, vessel or manned aircraft. Use of first-person view devices. 901.38 No pilot shall operate a remotely piloted aircraft system using a first-person view device unless, at all times during flight, a visual observer performs the detect and avoid functions with respect to conflicting aircraft or other hazards beyond the field of view displayed on the device. Night Flight Requirements 901.39 1. No pilot shall operate a remotely piloted aircraft system during the night unless the remotely piloted aircraft is equipped with position lights sufficient to allow the aircraft to be visible to the pilot and any visual observer. Whether with or without night vision goggles, and those lights are turned on. 2. No pilot shall operate a remotely piloted aircraft system using night vision goggles unless the goggles are capable of or the person has another means of detecting all light within the visual spectrum. Multiple remotely piloted aircraft. 901.40. 1. No pilot shall operate more than one remotely piloted aircraft at a time unless the remotely piloted aircraft system is designed to permit the operation of multiple aircraft from a single control station and unless the aircraft are operated in accordance with the manufacturer's instructions. 2. For the purposes of subsection, 1. No pilot shall operate more than five remotely piloted aircraft at a time, except in accordance with a special flight operations certificate, RPAS issued under Section 903.03. .03. Special Aviation Events and Advertised Events. 901.411. 1. No pilot shall operate a remotely piloted aircraft system at any special aviation event or at any advertised event, except in accordance with a special flight operations certificate, RPAS issued under Section 903.03. .03. 2. For the purposes of subsection, 1. Advertised event means an outdoor event that is advertised to the general public, including a concert, festival, market or sporting event. Handovers. 901.42 No pilot shall hand over their responsibilities to another pilot during flight unless, before the takeoff or launch of a remotely piloted aircraft, a, a pre-arrangement in respect of the handover has been made between the pilots, and b, a procedure has been developed to mitigate the risk of loss of control of the aircraft. Payloads. 901.43. 1. Subject to subsection, 2. No pilot shall operate a remotely piloted aircraft system if the aircraft is transporting a payload that a, includes explosive, corrosive, flammable, or biohazardous material. B. Includes weapons, ammunition, or other equipment designed for use in war. C could create a hazard to aviation safety or cause injury to persons, or, d, is attached to the aircraft by means of a line unless such an operation is conducted in accordance with the manufacturer's instructions. 2. A pilot may operate a remotely piloted aircraft system when the aircraft is transporting a payload referred to in subsection, 1 if the operation is conducted in accordance with a special flight operations certificate, RPAS issued under section 903.03. .03. Flight termination system. 
901.44 No pilot of a remotely piloted aircraft equipped with a flight termination system shall activate the system if it will endanger or will likely endanger aviation safety or the safety of any person. ELT Note An ELT is an emergency locator transmitter that helps rescuers find aircraft and people in distress following an aircraft impact with terrain. 901.45 No pilot shall operate a remotely piloted aircraft equipped with an ELT. Transponder and automatic pressure altitude reporting equipment. 901.46 1. Subject to subsection 2. No pilot shall operate a remotely piloted aircraft system if the aircraft is in the transponder airspace referred to in section 601.03, unless the aircraft is equipped with a transponder and automatic pressure altitude reporting equipment. 2. An air traffic control unit may authorize a pilot to operate a remotely piloted aircraft that is not equipped in accordance with subsection 1. Within the airspace referred to in section 601.03 if a, the air traffic control unit provides an air traffic control service in respect of that airspace. b. The pilot made a request to the air traffic control unit to operate the aircraft within that airspace before the aircraft entered the airspace, and c. Aviation safety is not likely to be affected. Flight Operations Records 901.48 1. Every owner of a remotely piloted aircraft system shall keep the following records. A. A record containing the names of the pilots and other crew members who are involved in each flight and, in respect of the system, the time of each flight or series of flights, and B. A record containing the particulars of any mandatory action and any other maintenance action, modification or repair performed on the system, including i. The names of the persons who performed them. e. The dates they were undertaken. e. In the case of a modification, the manufacturer, model and a description of the part or equipment installed to modify the system, and i. V. If applicable, any instructions provided to complete the work. 2. Every owner of a remotely piloted aircraft system shall ensure that the records referred to in subsection 1. are made available to the minister on request and are retained for a period of a, in the case of the records referred to in paragraph 1. A, 12 months after the day on which they are created and b. In the case of the records referred to in paragraph 1, b, 24 months after the day on which they are created. 3. Every owner of a remotely piloted aircraft system who transfers ownership of the system to another person shall, at the time of transfer, also deliver to that person all of the records referred to in paragraph 1, b. Incidents and Accidents. Associated Measures. 901.49. 1. A pilot that operates a remotely piloted aircraft system shall immediately cease operations if any of the following incidents or accidents occurs until such time as an analysis is undertaken as to the cause of the occurrence and corrective actions have been taken to mitigate the risk of recurrence. A. Injuries to any person requiring medical attention. B. Unintended contact between the aircraft and persons. C. Unanticipated damage incurred to the airframe, control station, payload or command and control links that adversely affects the performance or flight characteristics of the aircraft. D. Any time the aircraft is not kept within horizontal boundaries or altitude limits. E. Any collision with or risk of collision with another aircraft. F. Any time the aircraft becomes uncontrollable, experiences a flyaway or is missing, and G. Any incident not referred to in paragraphs a, 2. F. For which a police report has been filed or for which a civil aviation daily occurrence report has resulted. 2. 
the pilot of the remotely piloted aircraft system shall keep, and make available to the minister on request, a record of any analyses undertaken under subsection 1, for a period of 12 months after the day on which the record is created. Division 4. Basic Operations. Application. 901.53 This division applies in respect of the operation of remotely piloted aircraft systems that include small remotely piloted aircraft and that are not intended to conduct any of the advanced operations referred to in paragraphs 901.62. 2d. Pilot Requirements. 901.54. 1. Subject to subsection. 2. No person shall operate a remotely piloted aircraft system under this division unless the person a. is at least 14 years of age and b. holds either i. a pilot certificate, small remotely piloted aircraft, VLOS, basic operations issued under section 901.55, or e. a pilot certificate, small remotely piloted aircraft, VLOS, advanced operations issued under section 901.64. 2. Subsection 1. Does not apply to a person who is less than 14 years of age if the operation of the remotely piloted aircraft system is conducted under the direct supervision of a person who is 14 years of age or older and who can operate a remotely piloted aircraft system under this division or Division 5. Issuance of Pilot Certificate, Small Remotely Piloted Aircraft, VLOS, Basic Operations. 901.55 The Minister shall, on receipt of an application, issue a pilot certificate, small remotely piloted aircraft, VLOS, basic operations if the applicant demonstrates to the minister that the applicant a is at least 14 years of age, and b has successfully completed the examination, remotely piloted aircraft systems, basic operations, which is based on the standard entitled knowledge requirements for pilots of remotely piloted aircraft systems. 250 grams up to and including 25 kilograms, operating within visual line of sight, VLOS, TP 15263, published by the Minister and covers the subject set out in section 921.01 of standard 921. Small Remotely Piloted Aircraft in Visual Line of Sight, VLOS. Recency Requirements. 901.56. 1. No holder of a pilot certificate, small remotely piloted aircraft. VLOS, basic operations are of a pilot certificate, small remotely piloted aircraft, VLOS, Advanced operations shall operate a remotely piloted aircraft system under this division unless the holder has, within the 24 months preceding the flight, a, been issued a pilot certificate, small remotely piloted aircraft, VLOS, basic operations under section 901.55 or a pilot certificate, small remotely piloted aircraft, VLOS, advanced operations under section 901.64 or b successfully completed one either of the examinations referred to in paragraphs 901.55 b and 901.64 b two a flight review referred to in paragraph 901.64 c or three any of the recurrent training activities set out in section 921.04 of standard 921, small remotely piloted aircraft in visual line of sight, VLOS. 2. The person referred to in subsection 1. Shall keep a record of all activities referred to in paragraph 1. B. Including the dates on which they were completed, for at least 24 months after the day on which they were completed. Access to Certificate and Proof of Recency 
901.57 No pilot shall operate a remotely piloted aircraft system under this division unless both of the following are easily accessible to the pilot during the operation of the system. A. The pilot certificate, small remotely piloted aircraft, VLOS, basic operations issued under section 901.55 or the pilot certificate. Small Remotely Piloted Aircraft, VLOS. Advanced Operations Issued Under Section 901.64, and B. Documentation Demonstrating That The Pilot Meets The Recency Requirements Set Out In Section 901.56. We are First Squadron and our past flight school. Check out our drone services and places at oropilot.ca.